Right now you're watching Blatantly Blunt TV, alright? So I'm here today for another Blatantly Blunt interview with an absolute legend, man. I'm really like honored to be here today. The legendary producer of the scene, US hip hop, known globally, rep in New York, Pete Rock. Peace. What's happening? I'm alright, man. You good? Yeah. How you doing? I'm guessing it's not your first time in London. You've been here a few times before, right? Lots of times. Yeah. Good welcome as always, right? Thank you. But I guess yeah, the weather's yeah. a bit better this time around. Yeah, maybe. yeah, yeah. Sun, I think I brought the sun from New York. Yeah, appreciate that, man. I think we yeah, will need yeah, a bit yeah, of that, yeah. for sure, for sure, man. All right, so you're here to do a show. Uh, we're in Camden Proud Galleries. Yeah. Um, and you're also promoting a new record of yours, which is dropping Pete Instrumentals Part 2, right? Yeah. And so that's a straight instrumental record from yourself. And mm -hmm. is there any continuation from the first one, or is it a yes. completely separate it's, it's body of work? it's definitely continuation yeah. Part 2. That's why I call it Part 2. Okay. Or called it Pete's from Mental mm -hmm. or P2 for short. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's just one of those albums where you can just sit and vibe to yeah. all day, all night, whatever you're doing. Right, Apply right, it right. to whatever in life you're doing. Uh -huh. It's an inspiration, so that's why I do the series. Brilliant. And where's that dropping? June 23rd. June 23rd yeah. in the UK as well, globally, right? Yeah. Yeah, brilliant, yeah. brilliant, brilliant. Okay. Yeah. Um, and obviously, you're releasing this record mm -hmm. at a time when the whole industry is shaking up the music industry you know things are completely different now as yeah. they were 5 10 15 years ago certainly since you started in the game mm -hmm. what how has your release strategy switched up in 2015 with all the different channels that we can take and the different distribution strategies what's your what's your you take know on what? that it, it never really changed up man i just continued to make music yeah you know what yeah. i'm saying i yeah. didn't i didn't follow any rules i don't yeah. care about what's going on out there I'm, I, I only care about what I, you know, the original mm. music that I hear people doing and what I do, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, all the rest of that stuff, man, it's, it's, it's a new wave of hip hop going on, but you know, you can pick and choose your weapon. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? You could like whatever part of hip hop you like. If you like real yeah. hip hop, yeah. it's there. If you like, you know, radio friendly uh -huh. hip hop and commercial hip hop, that's right, there. Right, right. And then, you know, if you like underground hip hop, that's always there. Right, right. And which which part of that would you even put yourself in if you had to? I mix them all together. Mix them all together. Right? I mix it all but together. You're one of the pioneers of jazz hip hop, though. I think that's one of the things that people credit you for. I mean, Thank yeah, man, definitely. Obviously, I, I mean, I'm a jazz lover. You know, it comes from my dad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, we're 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 Jamaican. Right. You know, we have a, a huge reggae background, uh -huh. so that's automatic. But my dad was jazz so that's where I get that from and my older brother mm. who actually taught me about fusion jazz right. okay. taught me about weather report and uh Bruford and you know all these other you know jazz artists uh, that I you know, return to forever return forever with Chip Korea and Stanley Clark my brother was listening to all of that I can't pretend I know those names, bro. I'm, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna be like, good. yeah, I love those guys. It's all good. Yeah, it's all good, man. I love jazz, obviously, but yeah. I mean, I've seen you've been working with a lot of different artists. But for those who don't know, Pete Rock was credited with uh, producing one of Nas's greatest hits in his early days. The world is yours, right? Yeah, the world is yours. Man. I Ilmatic. mean, when yeah, like and what? they got the movie out. Yeah, I saw the movie. Well. And, um, you know, really proud of Nas. Proud of um, that, that album because that that album. Untouchable. Completely. Yeah. When you first worked with him back then, what was your kind of impressions on the kid? Because he wasn't established then, was he? He wasn't a big name then. He was um, up and coming. Yeah, he was up and coming under main source at first. Mm. And then he broke off into Illmatic. Right. And, uh, Lars Professor mm -hmm. called up all his producer friends, yeah. Q Tip, uh, LES. What was your first impression? DJ Premier. When DJ you, Premier. Uh, DJ yeah. Premier. Yeah. So, yeah. No, that 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 right there, and plus large professor himself. So you know, it's like the starting five, mm, 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 mm. like Fab Five. You want yeah. to call it? We were the Fab Five of Hill uh -huh. yeah. And when you first heard him spit in a studio, when you were recording that track, like, what was your kind of first? Did you did you imagine that he'd still have the relevance, kind of twenty five years down the line, twenty years yeah. down the line? That yeah. did it did it kind of like that jump album, out at you? That album yeah. going nowhere. No, for sure, it's yeah. not going yeah. anywhere. Yeah. You knew then? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Definitely. And then my kid is going to know about that album. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, dope, man. Yeah. Another classic track which you've been kind of at least associated with, you know what I'm going to say, is Juicy. Mm -hmm. There's talk around Diddy kind of... Yeah, just leave the dramatical part out of it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It is what it it's is. It's had closure now? Yeah, it's closure. It's like... Yeah. 
that was when I was young. You know what I'm saying? We, um, you know, you learn certain things in the mm. business and, uh, you know, and make sure that you, you're on point. Right. That's all. That's all. It's just a, 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 a teaching, you know, you learn mm. Mm. You know, about what, what, what the do's and the don'ts. Uh -huh. Right, right, right. Cool. All right, so um, I'm not sure about America, but in the UK and Europe, vinyl has made a huge resurgence amongst consumers. Mm -hmm. Amongst consumers, they're buying vinyl and the, the sales are shooting up. And obviously that's a big part of your production styles as well. So do you reckon that's going to result in a kind of a resurgence in sampling based hip hop in 2015? Because well, I, I so. find like it's gone down a bit, hasn't it? Not I as mean, many. you know, yeah. hip hop sounded its best when it was doing things like that. Mm. You know what I'm finding stuff where people got lazy and yeah. producers rather would just get it easy, the easiest way possible. Yeah. <laughs> or they'll go online and you know, mm. or, you know, it's just I, I'm I'm so original with, with, with I like to actually go out in yeah. stores and get dirty and find things. Yeah. It's just more respectful yeah. like that. Yeah. I mean you've been known to cross genre with other Non hip hop artists, Madonna, yeah. Yeah. Mick Jagger, yeah. people like that. Mm -hmm. What is the next genre that you'd like to step into from you as a producer um, that you haven't touched on yet? Any and anything, it doesn't even matter. So, yeah. techno, opera? Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm up for challenges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I love it. You know what I'm Which artists are catching your ear outside of the hip hop game? Yeah, like the hip hop thing is it's so easy for me. For sure. It's just like blindfolded, one arm, one leg, I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, um, I'm always up for challenges, mm. doing new stuff. I, I, I think if you look back on my career, I, mm. I didn't just pigeonhole myself to one sound. Right. Like, you know, I would do a beat where people were like, wow, Pete did that. You know what I mean? Like, I like to do that to people. You know what I mean? To show them, okay, I mastered this part of hip hop, but I don't know if you guys are expecting this type of sound. So, mm -hmm. um, any kind of global music trends which are grabbing your ear at the minute? Yeah, kind of emerging yeah, outside yeah, of the hip hop yeah. scene. I mean, some of the new stuff I, I can get with. You yeah. know what I mean? Some of it, not not all of it. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And um, you know, you know, you like like hip hop has has gotten so big, you can pick and choose your weapon. Mm. And um, me, I, 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 you know, I'm I'm a picky type of person. You know, I like some of today's artists. I like yeah, yeah. Kendrick Lamar, right, right. Like the Drakes, mm. the ASAP Rocky, Joe Bad. I, I love that. But um. You know, I'm I'm more into like the music side of it, right. like the beats, uh -huh. and what makes it. You know, if you have a dope beat, then you gotta come with it lyrically. Right. That's how I always feel. And what do you look for in an MC? If you're listening to MC to work, flow. what are the flow is flow. the main thing that yep. you're yep. riding yeah. the beat when they rapping. You know yep. what I'm saying? Because that that's important to me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. You, you, you know, when you a little. Sometimes I've worked with a lot of MCs that. Way. A little too excited mm, mm. <laughs> and would just be rapping real fast yeah. and I'm like yo slow down let the, let the you know let the beat ride you know you ride the beat just get on the saddle and just, you know what I'm saying as JD Kid says I'm powered up off on the track yeah, you know what I mean the best MC <laughs> 100%, ever. Like, like, you know what I'm saying yeah, that's yeah. like he's yeah. one of my favorite guys mm. okay you got something coming then yeah. <laughs> for sure um you got your live show tomorrow yeah. with Proud Camden yeah. what can people expect from your live performances well, I mean, I'm just DJing, and you know, I may jump out there and do a song or two. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? But jumping on the mic, or yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe, yeah, maybe, okay. depending on how I feel. You know. Mm. And what's been some of the most memorable shows you've done around the world that come to uh, mind straight away? Probably Australia, Japan, and Paris, France. Anywhere over abroad, because they love the culture so right. much. So not as saturated as New York, maybe yeah, where it's like so America, used to it. Yeah, like America, it's a difference. Mm, it's now, together. you know, yeah. from when it started, mm. you know, when we owned it and we loved it and we took care mm -hmm. of it, like it was our baby, right. you know. But now, you know, it's just gotten so huge. You know, you have people in it that are just in it for one reason. Mm. You got people in it who truly love the culture. Right. You have, you know, people who are in it to get paid. And that's that's a shame, but I guess that's the way, that's the way mean, it works. Know, isn't it? The, the, I mean, everybody has to get paid somehow, somewhere. So it's how you live your life, you know what I'm saying? But um, otherwise, then, 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 then that, don't make that the basis right, of, course, of, of 
what this is. You know what I'm saying? You have to have some type of love in your heart for this music. Because it, it was given to us from God. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Speaking of love in the heart, De La Soul have done a crowdfunding campaign. And you're working on the same album, right? With them? Uh, yeah, it? yeah. Actually, they, I think I spoke to Paz about a beat that they want yeah. you know, for this. So, so they pro I mean, for the project. I, I, hope, I hope it happens. I mean, from what I've heard, like their crowding, their crowdfunding campaign has just gone through the roof. Yeah, you know, people are loving that. Obviously, what part, what aspect, how much? It's a of, big, yeah. it's a big um, want yeah. for real music again. Yeah, yeah, you know that's I mean? it. People so, kind of tired of mm. what they're listening to on the radio all the time. They don't break it up and just keep cramming the same song down your throat mm. every two seconds <laughs> in New York. Every so, two minutes, you hear the same song. Yeah, I mean, with De La Soul, do you think they did this crowdfunding campaign because they needed the money, or do you think they did it more as a kind of PR exercise? I, well, I can't speak for them, but no. I, I, I would think being from the same time span, yeah, that they they doing it to, to, because they love it. To come back in the game, right? To come yeah. back and do yeah. it. So, you know, money comes with the game. Mm. That just comes with it. But we don't necessarily do it for that. We do it for the love of the music and the fans and, and just. You know, just the culture itself, man. I I, I love beat making. Hundred percent. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah. Man. Yeah. That's it, that's it. Cool, man. I mean, on that note, any last tips that you've got for the next Pete Rockin' again? Um, it's a tough. Passionate. It's a tough call. Uh, be be, be yeah. passionate, man. You gotta love yeah. this game. Like I was born loving music, mm. so I just carried that all the way up to now. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And that's why probably I'm still around. Alright man, respect. Well, it's been a pleasure interviewing you, brother. You too, man. And I uh, look forward to seeing your show tomorrow. No doubt, man. Respect. Alright, cool. cool.